investigates tonight with an exclusive look inside the Molly Bish case. Investigative reporter Kathy Curran, who has been on this case since day one, tells us right now about the enhanced DNA testing that could finally solve the murder after 16 years. 66 boxes wrapped in brown paper bearing the name of Molly Bish are stacked to the ceiling, almost covering an entire wall in a room at the State Police Detective Unit in Worcester. For the first time, Five Investigates gives you an exclusive glimpse into the volume of evidence and the amount of work that's been done to try to find her killer. This represents about a third of what we have. Each box tells part of the story. The evidence inside holding the possible key to what happened to the 16-year-old on that June day back in 2000, when she disappeared from her lifeguard post at Cummins Pond in Warren. It's a case that has frustrated investigators since day one. What makes this case so difficult? The crime scene was trampled on. There weren't any eyewitnesses. It was in a remote area. But it doesn't stop you, it doesn't deter you, it makes you work that much harder and you're, and you're constantly looking for new ideas. Detectives have gone back to square one, retracing Molly's last steps, looking at evidence, interviews and thousands of pages of grand jury testimony. Now they're hoping enhanced DNA testing on dozens of pieces of evidence that have never been tested will give them the break needed to solve this case. We're hoping with the DNA and uh, the ability to take material that in the past might not have been considered a great um, piece of material to test. With this new testing, we're hoping to maybe hit on something, get a break in this case. The evidence undergoing the enhanced testing is from various locations connected to the crime, from the pond to the area where Molly's remains were found a few miles away. So after 16 years, what's the hope? I guess we would hope that this person would be behind bars, that we know that we had did our job. We did the best to do what we could for Molly. It's been 16 years of heartache and unrest for Molly's family. There are still people of interest in her murder, including convicted killer Rodney Stanger, but not enough evidence to charge anyone with the crime. Until that day, detectives will follow the evidence and a constant reminder of what was lost will remain over Maggie Bish's heart. And we wish we could get the answers that we need so there would be some peace. And there are 24 pieces of evidence that will undergo that enhanced DNA testing. That testing becomes available in September. If you have any information about the Bish case, detectives want to hear from you. Give them a call at 508-453-7575. Kathy Curran, 5 Investigates.